All right, so I've been using the Tempo Studio for quite a while now. In fact, it's taken me quite a while to get my final thoughts on this, a lot longer than usual, just because I have gone back and forth so much on this device. Because when it was first delivered, I was just blown away the quality of this thing. And all of the accessories included were just over the top. And the introduction was just so good. But after using it for a few sessions, I did begin to sour on it a little bit. And I'll get into exactly all the reasons why, but a big part of it was my expectations were just set so high from the initial delivery and the initial experience I had. But I kept using it and testing it and trying out various classes. And over time, my appreciation for what the tempo does phenomenally well, it just made up for a lot of the disappointments that had come after my initial impressions. And as with all of my Connected Fitness reviews, I will be updating this one in the description below with any big updates or things that you should know about. And with that out of the way, God damn the tempo reeks of quality. So right off the bat, when I say high quality, you might be wondering what exactly that means. So let me show you. The 42 inch 4K touchscreen on the Tempo is both the largest and highest quality of almost any competitor. Underneath that screen is a high tech 3D LiDAR camera, which is used to count reps and analyze your form for AI feedback. The 10th gen i5 processor this whole thing runs on is leagues better than many others and helps keep it future proof and makes the process of selecting and taking classes just super smooth. The loadable Olympic style dumbbells and 75 pounds of Olympic dumbbell plates and clips that are included. These are nicer and a lot more expensive than normal rubber dumbbells and they alone are easily worth Worth over $500. The 60 watt stereo speakers are loud and sound great, and everything is held compactly and well designed in a great looking 100 pound aluminum frame. And I can't forget to mention the workout mat that comes with the Tempo. I don't normally spend a lot of time thinking about a workout mat, but this mat is the nicest mat I've used yet. It's super grippy, comfortable, and I've used mats that cost $100 or more, and I've never found one as good as this. And while the starter package for the Tempo costs around $2,500, it does provide a lot more value than almost any other competitor at that price point. There's also a plus package that's about $700 more, and that one includes a 25 pound barbell, two 25 pound competition barbell plates, a folding bench, a foam roller, and a polar heart rate monitor. And the pro package, which is about $1,500 more than the starter set, also includes a folding squat rack, kettlebell system, weight plate storage, and two more 45 pound competition barbell plates. Personally, I started out with just the starter package, so I can't speak to the quality of the accessories with the pro and plus packages, but I can say based on the quality I'm seeing here, I would think it's a pretty safe bet that all of the other optional equipment is pretty nice too. So all this was delivered, it worked great, and the other reason I was really impressed was the introduction. See, with most devices, you might have like a little bit of an introduction or some screens that show you what to do or where to go, but the tempo went full board into actually making you take a 25 minute introductory class. And at first, I was not that into this because I just wanted to start the regular classes, but I'm so glad they did because that intro class really nailed what they needed to do, which is teach you how to use the tempo, how to adjust the weights, how to follow the program, where to find the programs, how to pause the workout, pretty much do everything you could possibly need to know to have a really good start to the program. It showed off the 3D camera, which was able to count my reps and give me some form corrections for my squat. So I was pretty blown away by that intro, but as I mentioned, after I took more and more sessions, that excitement started to wear down. My expectations had just been built so high, and then I started noticing a lot of things that just weren't so great. The first thing that really bothered me was the LiDAR 3D camera. This being one of the most unique features of the Tempo, I was really hoping for it to impress me, and it did the opposite. Now the rep counting on this thing mostly works well, but you sort of have to learn an entirely new skill set to make sure that it's accurate because by doing certain things, you'll find that the rep count gets really off. For example, if you're doing a workout with dumbbell squats and you finish your last rep early, 
and you decide to put your weight down and then stand back up, well, it's gonna count that as a rep. So you sort of either have to stand there holding the dumbbell until the entire time for the set is over, or you do what I do is I squat down to put the dumbbell down and I just don't stand up. Another thing that you need to keep in mind with the tempo when counting reps, that if you don't use their included dumbbells, like you wanna use some of your own, it may not count your reps for all movements. And this is because it counts reps differently for different movements. So for some movements like the squats, it uses your body to register the movement, so it doesn't matter whether you have their dumbbell or your dumbbell. But for other movements where the tempo relies on the dumbbell to see if the movement was completed, for example, a floor press, well, if you're using regular dumbbells, it's just not going to register any of your reps. Another thing that brought down my expectations a little bit was the limitations of having workouts designed around one set of adjustable dumbbells. Changing the weight on the dumbbells does take a little bit of time, as you would expect, and that alone doesn't really hinder the workouts too much. But the problem comes in some classes when the movements are paired together. Now, I give the coaches a lot of credit because they do a very good job of trying to ensure that the movements that they pair together will be with weights that would be very similar. But despite their best efforts, this doesn't always work out too well and there were definitely times when I found myself doing two movements where one movement was just right and the other movement was too light or, or too heavy because it just wasn't a perfect pairing of the movements and there wasn't enough time to change the weights on the dumbbell. The easy solution to this of course was me mixing some of my own personal dumbbells with the tempo dumbbells but again you still run into that issue where it may not count all of your reps. Now the limitations of having a single adjustable dumbbell and some of the problems with the rep counting were annoying, but they weren't my biggest issue. What really bothered me the most was how little the 3D camera was used to help with form correction. Now, it can be decent for squatting. Like, it'll tell you if your knees are coming in or if you're going too far forward. It definitely can give you some cues for that. I also did see it once say I was overextending on a press, which was a good correction. But outside of those three specific corrections, I don't know if their system works for any other form corrections. Cause believe me, I tried, I did almost everything you could possibly think of for every single movement I did just to see what form corrections there were and I never got any outside of those three. I could deadlift with my back completely rounded, my plank could be completely broken, my arms not extended, I could be falling all over the place, knees wobbling in and out on almost every movement, and nothing would ever register the tempo as it being a form fault. And this bummed me out because I do feel the technology on this thing is capable of so much more. Like I was thinking it might even be able to tell me my left and right imbalances on certain stretches, or if I'm focusing on one side more than the other, and so much more because I really feel the tech they put in this thing is so advanced it is capable of things like that, but I don't know if the software of the Tempo has matched the hardware yet, and so that was really what was most disappointing. Now, that's quite a lot of negatives I just threw at you, and that's why my experience on the Tempo did begin to sour after my first impressions. But I continued to test out all the classes, live classes, and programs on the Tempo, and I went from being meh on it to being really sold on it. And this is because, as I'll get into, Tempo didn't just focus on having really good, high quality hardware. They also focused on having really good, high quality training. And the Tempo does so many things so well with their training that despite my issues with it, I think it might be one of the best at home gym solutions available. So let's get into what makes the Tempo Studio so great. First off, let's talk about the Tempo's classes and programs and coaches who put it all together. One of the things I noticed was that the programs are built much differently than others. I've said it before, but I am a sucker for well-designed, thought-out programs that are built well, have progressions and goals. And Tempo seems determined here to provide classes and programs that prioritize what people need rather than just what they want. Let me explain. I feel like a lot of home memberships really cater to what people think will help them accomplish their goals, which tends to make the workouts less effective because what people want and what they need can sometimes be a lot different. That's why you have a coach to make you do what you don't want to do if you want really good results. And that is exactly what Tempo is doing right here. They don't seem afraid to say, hey, this is what is going to help you accomplish your goals. This is the science behind it. So follow this program and stick to it. 
It takes guts to do that, but they do it because they know it is the right thing to do for the health and fitness of their members and not just always the popular thing to do. Other classes that are focused on actual strength or hypertrophy, well, they actually give you the rest that you need. And often the instructors will tell you to pause the workout if you need more rest, if you're more advanced, or if you wanna lift more to get better results. This is not just smart training, this is real training. And what I love is they have tons of 20, 30 and 40 minute mobility and foam roll classes, which is exactly what many people, including me need. I mean, I even found a class that was dedicated to over 30 minutes of ankle mobility. They are doing the right things for the right reasons based on the most up-to-date exercise science. And they're really doing what makes sense to get the best results for their members. And for that, the tempo and all of their coaches they deserve a lot of credit. And in terms of strength training, the Tempo is the only at-home program that I know of that includes barbell training. And like I said, I didn't get the plus or pro packages which include the barbell yet, so I wasn't really able to take all of the classes, but I did watch and analyze a bunch, and those classes are some of the best in the option screen where you select you know, which equipment you have or don't have, so they don't show you classes with equipment that you don't have yet. But if you include the barbell into it, all of a sudden there are like twice as many programs and way more classes. And so if you can swing it and have room for it, I would definitely suggest getting the pro package because with just the dumbbells, I do feel like I am missing out on quite a lot. And real quick, I do want to discuss Tempo's decision to use free weights like dumbbells and barbells as part of their workout programs rather than some of the more high tech cables and stuff that you see in other programs. And I actually think this is a really smart move. And even though some of those other programs are great, I do question the longevity of how long those machines will last. Whereas I know with what I'm getting from the tempo, like these dumbbells and weights, they're gonna last 10 years if you treat them terribly. And they'll last 20 years or even longer if you just make a small attempt of trying to take care of them. So in terms of getting long-term value, I think the Tempo does a really great job here. Now Tempo offers a lot more than just strength training. As I mentioned, they also offer foam rolling and mobility classes, yoga, cardio, boxing, balance, functional training, hypertrophy, core, and even short weekly challenges. And a big plus for me is that all of the classes, even the live ones on the tempo, they have a complete description of all of the movements that you'll be doing during that class. And this is something that is missing from many others. And it's something that I feel is extremely important in terms of selecting a workout that makes sense for what you're trying to accomplish that day. Now, in terms of live classes, Tempo does offer several live classes throughout the day. So if you like the feeling of being in a live class where the coaches do tend to have a lot of good interaction with the attendees, it's a good and fun option to try out. And the coaches on Tempo, Let's talk about them a little bit more for a moment. Coaches on most platforms, they're just completely done up. Their stage is done up. They sometimes try to have this bigger than life and sometimes over the top personalities. Whereas tempo coaches, it feels like you just walked into your local gym to get a personal trainer and that's your personal trainer for the day. And this could be a good or a bad thing, I guess, depending on what experience you enjoy most. But I personally did enjoy the more laid back, more realistic coaching style that I got from these coaches as I felt like I was actually, you know, in the gym having a training session rather than watching a concert. And this is not a dig at other services that provide that because I enjoy them too. It's just something that I noticed was different and something I thought was pretty nice about the Tempo. Now, Tempo also has an app that you can download, which has a lot of their classes on it. So you don't actually need to take Tempo classes on the Tempo. And this is a nice feature for those of you who may be traveling a lot or need to do a quick workout somewhere else. Or if you're like me, sometimes I like to stretch out a little bit while I'm watching TV or hanging out with the family. And I don't necessarily want to go back to the room with the Tempo. So so I can just open up that app, open up a mobility session and just follow along to it. And in a brand new update to this app, they actually included the ability to be able to pair your Apple Watch to the Tempo. So now if you're an Apple Watch user, all you need to do is download the Tempo app, turn on your Tempo, and you can have a direct connection of your heart rate monitor on there. And so even just talking about the Tempo now, I just like it more and more and more even though you know there are definitely things I was disappointed in. And I'm keeping in mind that this is still a very new piece of equipment. The company is still brand new and the hardware that they have included in here is very future-proof and I'm very optimistic that they're gonna continue to make improvement after improvement on this thing until a lot of my issues, they might just be things of the past. The potential for this machine and the training behind it 
It's just phenomenal, and I can't wait to see what they're able to do with it down the road. Now, would I suggest a Tempo for somebody who is looking for an at-home gym solution? Of course. I think they are absolutely headed in the right direction in terms of their programs and classes and what they're trying to do here. I think the quality and craftsmanship of their product shows a lot of the love that has gone into the Tempo. And I think the average person who uses this consistently is going to get phenomenal results. So if you're looking to get a home gym program that is based on free weights and has programs and classes that are well-designed and, and are actually like real training, which you can get real results with, then I think the Tempo is definitely a great fit. But before you decide to buy the Tempo, make sure to watch this video as a comparison to the Nordic Track Vault so you can decide which of these two home fitness gyms with free weights is the best fit for you. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.